A 91-year-old World War II veteran visited Camp Shelby Joint Forces Training Center on November 30th. James Jones served as a U.S. Army Staff Sergeant in the 761st Tank Battalion. Jones was honored with the invitation to witness the training of the 1st Battalion, 155th Combined Arms Battalion. Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Watford is the commander. We were already doing some uh, tank firing, so we were more than happy for him to come out and watch us. Uh, and just looking at the difference between what they had and what we have. Jones explored the M1A1 tank and observed many types of tank firing. The modern tanks greatly differ from the tanks Jones operated in World War II. For instance, a modern artillery tank round weighs about 47 pounds, while the World War II era tank round weighed only 3 pounds. The visit was coordinated by the Mississippi Armed Forces Museum. It's a pleasure to be here, and not only to see the difference in the machinery, but the attitude of the men. Huh? They know what they're doing, they know how to handle it, and that means everything. And I can tell every citizen of this great nation, they can be best assured their life in this country is in good hands. Glenn Houston, the arms and vehicle conservator for the museum, says Jones' experience in World War II is an important part of history. His battalion, 761st Tank Battalion, independent, was the only uh, African-American tank battalion to see combat in World War II. There were other battalions, but his is the only one selected to go into combat. He's got a, a chapter that hasn't been recorded. It's not widely known. From Camp Shelby Public Affairs, I'm Dana Elise Smith.